When we think of a scarlet tanager, this is not the bird we probably picture in our mind, but this is what females and young scarlet tanagers look like, kind of that uh, dull gold color. Believe it or not, even the males lose those uh, striking scarlet feathers now in the fall and turn basically this same golden plumage. Uh, notice that rather heavy duty bill that helps us distinguish this scarlet tanager female or youngster from uh, some of the similar looking uh, uh, orioles uh, and uh, uh, goldfinches uh, and, and even fall warblers that uh, might be showing up now as we move towards the fall season. Uh, scarlet tanagers nest in the area here in the summertime, but they are not uh, common birds to see then. Look for scarlet tanagers to uh, be living in uh, uh, mature woodlands that have lots of nice big oak trees. We are all familiar with honeybees and bumblebees, uh, but we uh, may have never heard of a leaf cutting bee before. But there are dozens of different leaf cutting bee species in our area. And this is a female leaf cutting bee right here, cutting out a section of leaf from a plant that uh, grows out in the woods. She will uh, carry that back, fly it back actually, to a hollow plant stem somewhere. Uh, that's her nest. And uh, she will then seal off the entrance, kind of like put up a wall with uh, that leaf section after she lays her egg inside on a big pollen ball that serves as the food source for its larva when it hatches out. By the way, she carries her pollen under her abdomen. So that's that orange color that you see there. They don't have pollen baskets like honeybees and bumblebees. So this American hog peanut leaf shows evidence of uh, leaf cutter bee activity. You can see that kind of round circle there is where a female leaf cutting bee cut out again a little uh, section there to carry back for uh, the wall on her uh, little home in a hollow plant stem. Uh, some of their favorite leaves that you'll find out in the forest are the American hog peanut now, which is very common plant in woodlands in the fall. I've also seen uh, lots of cut out leaves on green ash leaves, uh, red oak leaves. And if, uh, if there's some around your house, they like to cut out the leaves on roses. So watch for evidence of leaf cutter bee activity when you're out in the woods this fall and late summer.